Hello everybody, Eric Apricot here. This is a live reaction to the Warriors Nuggets game. Okay, this is actually a really nice play for the rookies. Trace is running the whole play, so the first option is the split cut between Moses and Pajemski. It's jammed pretty well by the defender, so Trace instantly looks to her second read. So this is a nice little zoom action where you have the pin down screen into a handoff. The second Trace makes contact with Chris Paul's defender, he instantly rolls good old-fashioned fundamentals where he pivots on his front foot, instantly opens up to the ball to be available for a pass. Jokic has to contain Chris Paul's drive. Christian Braun, he had jammed Moody and then Moody just wandered off. This is actually a super alert play from Pajemski. He sees that Moody's got separation from his defender. So the first thing he does is he runs over and sets a pin and screen. You can see with his right arm, he flashes a thumb over his shoulder saying, use my screen. Good pass on time by Chris Paul. Yes. All right, scary times ahead. I see Jokic is ISOing Trace, and this guy's clearing out. So it's just going to be four nuggets on this side and barbecue chicken over here. I assume the Warriors are going to send a second man to help. Okay, Kaminga getting ready to, to help. But if he goes, somebody's got to be ready to rotate to Kaminga's man. All right. Double team, no shame in that. Good defensive recovery there. I mean, contested mid-range jumper instead of a Jokic spinning on Trace. So Kaminga helps. Chris Paul rotates to Kaminga's man. Moody rotates to cover Chris Paul's man. They could have kept swinging the ball all the way to this corner because Pajemski had to cover these two guys. But instead, Peyton Watson is feeling himself and he drives against the closeout. Kaminga just happens to be standing there, though. That's why I don't think this is a good decision. Watson with the pull-up with Kaminga in his face. The Warriors will take that every single play. They're giving the rookies a lot of playing time. Oh, uh, Jokic going for the steal here on this sort of careless pass from Podge. Yo, the spin and dunk that thing. And one, yes. Wait, no and one? There's no Draymond around to yell and one. I don't really know if this is a smart play by Jokic. The Warriors have been having Trace start the play on the top. I like how much decision making they're letting Trace do. And Jokic just straight up tries to shoot the gap here. Maybe Jokic knows he's going to the bench or something, but like, why would you do this? Like pretty much the only way the Warriors can win is if Jokic runs out of mana, right? And Jokic is blowing a whole bunch of it just on this high risk play. Anyway, so Trace turns. I like this ball handling. A lot of people crash in to rotate to stop this. Moody's actually open on this baseline cut. Trace instead, he just goes for this seam. He says, you guys are both much smaller than me. The only way you can stop me is if one of you gets on the other one's shoulders and you put on a trench coat. That was a nice finish though, actually. I think he got bumped. Steph on the bench saying, oh, what? I cannot believe this. He got fouled on that. Yeah, I agree. Gosh, I wonder what play they're gonna run. Undoubtedly another straight ISO of Jokic on Trace. All right, just backing him down. Okay, Chris Paul comes to help. The Warriors always seem to be sending help from this top guy, which is pretty predictable. Jokic sees it right away. Totally open shot here for Christian Braun. He's got to take this right. Oh, Moses Moody rotating. Okay, rotation's on point here. And Peyton Watson again driving instead of rotating. The Warriors survive. Gosh, I wonder what play the Nuggets going to run now. Oh, tricky. Jokic with the little fake backing in and then... Just accelerates on Trace. Trace held up. Nice. All right, someone else shot. Excellent. Oh yeah. Is it possible that the Nuggets might ISO Trace? They wouldn't be so ungentlemanly as to do that, would they? All right, Chris Paul's had enough of it. He's like, they've ISOed Trace in the high post the last five plays, so I'm done with this. Instant double team. That was awesome. Oh, I mean, I guess this was kind of a two for one, but you know? That was such a low percentage shot. That was a total victory by the defense. And somehow, of course, it's Pajemski who gets the ball. The Dyson vacuum of small rebounders. Whoa! Yes! Yam on him! Oh! At the foul. How did he see that? That was incredible. Okay, so Jokic fires this three like he just wants to get off the court. Trace contests, and then when you contest a three-point shooter, you often just run and try to beat him back down the court and Trace should have an advantage in speed and energy. So that part is good. And I wanna see when Pajemski sees that Trace is going down court. Okay, so Pajemski, he's got his back turned. He does not see Trace until right now. So he's got the ball, he turns his head fast. 
trace now is bolting off. That is such a fast read. That pass is super sweet. I mean, actually, I'm not sure he should have thrown this pass, but the quick decision making and gutsy call is really unbelievable. As he lands, he turns and sees Trace, and then half the dribble, the ball goes to the floor, and then as the ball's coming up, he flicks it one-handed. Beautiful. And Jokic has to foul him. Somehow, the Warriors are still in it. Warriors probably should have been blown out already in this game. They're surviving with the rookie guarding Jokic, and Trace definitely cannot handle Jokic one-on-one, -on -one, but who can? And Trace has been doing a good job helping the offense hum on the other side to try to get back. He's been doing a good job banging with Jokic and bodying him up to try to wear him down and making Jokic use his mana. So very respectable performance by the rookie.